<laughs> so it's the day after my flight and I'm jet lagged. I literally slept at noon today and just woke up about 30 minutes ago. I'm still in Japan time. <laughs> but that's not going to stop me from making a brand new video because I have one more day left to vote in the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. And I don't want to miss out on that. Hey! If you're watching this channel, you're probably not subscribed because about 80% of you are not subscribed. And if you want me to keep on making quality content, I suggest you do so. But yeah, as you can see right here on the Crunchyroll website, I have a little over one day to vote. So let's do it. Let's so start from the bottom and work our way up. We start with best voice artist performance, English. Okay, I haven't really seen many ah dubbed english dubbed anime this year i did check out a little bit of demon slayer uh the swordsmith village arc in english because i actually I actually do enjoy the english dub of demon slayer i saw i've only ever seen clips of chainsaw man in english but honestly that one scene where nezuko finally spoke actual words that was kind of awesome. Even though I, even even as a manga reader, that still hit pretty hard. I'm gonna give it to Abby Trot. All right, best voice performance in Japanese this time. Whew, Atsumi Tanazaki, Anya Forger. I'm pretty sure she also voices a uh, Freeman from uh, Beyond Journey's End. I might just give it to her, but this is the Anya performance. I mean, Anya's voice is very adorable. It fits perfectly with the character. Uh, we got Denji. Dude, Bochi. I might give it to Bochi. Satoru Gojo. That's another really solid choice. Of course, freaking Mayumi Tanaka. Luffy. Denji's voice is fun. Luffy is a legendary classic. Honestly, I mean, not... I mean, Gojo's voice is cool and all, but I mean, I don't think... I don't think it's the... I don't think it's best voice artist performance <clears throat> of 2023 specifically as well and then i'm not even gonna lie i have not seen a single episode of attack on titan judge me bochi's voice actress though really did some crazy things especially that, like i remember seeing this one clip go around social media where the voice actors read like reperformed that one scene where bochi just went uh was like spasming on the ground and that sound <laughs> that was pretty cool ah you know what i might just give it to anya anya forger and that's totally not biased because of free run but uh kind of is <laughs> i'm gonna give it to anya forger i feel like i feel like being able to do free and free i mean they're all amazing voice acts i'm pretty sure they could all do a, a variety of voices but I don't know. I really do feel like uh, Atsumi Tanazaki really brought Anya's character to life. As did all of them. Really, I can't pick. You know what? I'm gonna give it. To, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it to Anya. I'm gonna give it to Anya. I don't want to think too much anymore about any of these. Best ending sequence. Okay. Okay. Um, we have Just Guys in Season Two, Spy Family, Zom 100. Mephisto. Oh, dude, Mephisto's actually kind of cool. That's the one that goes. Doo, 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 doo. That's so fun to play on the violin as well. Ah, uh, I'm actually. You know what? It's kind of crazy. A few. If you if you were to ask me a few years ago, what did I think of about anime endings? I would tell you I probably just don't care about them. I skip them. But now I actually look forward to them. I like hearing the ending of anime now. This is pretty cool for Chainsaw Man. They decided to choose this specific ending out of the, what, the 13 different ones? How many ever episodes it had? You know what? I'm gonna give it to Mephisto. That, that, that was cool. All right, best opening sequence. Okay, okay. Crap. There's Idol. <laughs> and I freaking love Idol. Oh, jeez. Song of the Dead is so good as well. Destopia, des, destopia. Freaking kickback. Happy dun, 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 Oh, and then even out of my wow goes You know what? I'm gonna give it to where blue is. After after learning what the lyrics are in that song. So good. So it's such, such a good song. But also idol. Idol. Oh god dang. Oh, 
Do, am, I, am I really gonna give it to Jujutsu Kaisen or Oshinoko? I can't give it both Oshinoko. Can I revote? Can I revote? I can't revote. No. Oh my! I might just give it to Idol. I really like that song. Like, okay, for reference, last time I was in Japan, this was like the theme song. I, I was just like humming and singing this like every day. But then this recent trip in Japan, this past two weeks, uh, this was the song that I was humming and just singing along to. Uh, it's really between Idol and Where Our Blue Is for me. Crap, am I gonna give two to Oshinoko? I think I'm gonna give two to both the opening and the ending to o Oshinoko. I really love the series. Yeah, you know what? As a, as a song as a whole, and like the literal animation opening sequence, I think I like Idol more. I like every part of Idol, whereas Where Our Blue is, if I'm being real, I feel like I'm, I, only, I only really like this song because of the chorus. And the animation opening was cool and all, but it's not as good as Oshinoko, I think. I'm not even talking about these other four. Kickback and Song of the Dead are really close choices as well. But I'm gonna give it to Idol. All right. Best score. Best OST, huh? I'm gonna give it to Bochy the Rock. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, Suzume. What do they have? They have, uh. Do they have, uh. Was it Ride Whips again? Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Bochy the Rock, man. I just. The, the actual songs they sing as a band, as Kesoku band in the anime count, right? And those songs are those songs are kind of banger. I'm gonna get, honestly, if I'm okay, I'm gonna be completely honest here. When it comes to like the OST and like the music that plays in the anime, I don't really listen to it or don't really remember it. Like it just happens in the moment, and after the fact, I just I just don't really remember original music. I'm gonna give it to Bochy Rock because I think I think the songs they sing as Kesoku okay, Band count as part of the score, right? It is original music, so. And I do listen to Kesoku Band on Spotify quite frequently. Best anime song. <laughs> oh shoot! Okay, we have a Station Complex. This was another one of. This was like another song I, I constantly kept humming and singing along to during my trip to Japan these past two weeks. Oh God! Dang, dude. It's Idol, Station Complex, or freaking Where Our Blue Is. Best anime song, best opening sequence. Okay, I, I, yeah, no, I, I feel I feel, I feel, feel confident that Idol was my favorite opening sequence, but hey, best anime song. I mean, I'm gonna give it to Station Complex. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it over Idol. I, I like I like I like the Bochi Rock opening more. And that's and it's totally not just because I don't want to give Idol. I mean Oshinoko another vote from my from me. I think I genuinely like the Bochi the Rock opening more. This song is really good. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll give it to. Must protect at all cost character. <laughs> okay. Anya Forger, Boji from Ranking of Kings, Bochi from Bochi the Rock, um, Yunisaka, Pochita, or Soleta Mercury. Okay, I haven't seen either of these two. Boji, Boji, he can protect himself. He's the king. He's a king. Anya Forger, she has the com she has the comic relief to protect her. Pochita, literal chainsaw demon, right? Bochi, she needs protecting. <laughs> Bochi needs protecting. <laughs> I'm honestly just picking Bochi because it's my favorite character out of all of these. Okay. But also, I mean, yeah. Bochi needs protecting, right? right? I, the other, the other, I think I gave reasonings why the others... They're, they, 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 they're good on their own. They, they, can, they can make it. Anya being a literal kid, though, definitely needs protecting. But I mean, I'm still going to go with Bochi. Best supporting character. Huh. Ooh. Oh, this is so easy for me. I'm not even going to think about it. I see there's Gojo, Geto, and Power, which are all great characters that i also really love but come on if if you've been if you've been following me uh recently or like ever since oshinoko came released as anime you know i love me my ravi makana god dang i freaking love her she's so cute oh my god i love her ah. oh. <laughs> little smile <laughs> little 
little cinnamon button, bro. I love her. I love her. All right. Best main character. All right. All right. This is a big one. We got freaking Denji of Chainsaw Man. Aaron Yeager. Attack on Titan. Itori Goto. Bochi. Monkey D. Luffy. Mob. And Thorfinn. God dang it. Okay. Ever since after seeing the One Piece live action. I freaking love One Piece, man. It's so hype. It's so awesome. I just, it's, it's so hard to watch the anime, though. Like, ugh, I'm still on episode 8. I don't know. I, 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 think, I think that is a thing, though. Isn't it a thing where, like, the first few, maybe, like, arc, even, of One Piece is hard to get through? Ugh, honestly, I'm probably I'm just going to wait till they, for the remake of One Piece, and I'll watch that. And then also the live action. I can't give it to Monkey D. Luffy. Because I, I haven't really seen his character as a whole. Or like, as much as the others. Denji, I mean, he's fun. He's fun. He's just like me for real. But, nah. He's not the best main character. Not even close. And it's, and I think you might be uh, realizing what I'm about to pick once again. <laughs> I really love Bochy the Rock. I can't wait for the movie, even though the movie is just a recap, right? Like... A recap of the whole season, I think. I'm gonna give it to Bochi. Uh, she's probably not gonna win, but I'm gonna give it to Bochi. I love Bochi. All right, best slice of life. Bochi Dark, do it yourself. I still need to watch this. Actually, I wanted to watch this. It looked good. Hurry, Mia. I'm I'm good. Insomniacs after school. I think I saw like clips of this and also it looked interesting. Oh, Yamada Kun store. My love story. Yamada Kun level 999. And skipping loafer. These three on the right are all shows I need to watch. You know what? I might just binge them uh, after this. Honestly, I might just binge them during the season because I don't think there are really many shows this winter season that I actually wanted to watch. But I'm going to give it to Yamada Kun Level 999. I thoroughly enjoyed that show. Best drama. Oshinoko. Ooh, To Your Eternity mentioned. Let's go. Honestly, I'll give it to To Your Eternity Season 2. I feel like it's an underrated show. I'm not even like, yeah, there's, there's Tiger Titan of Vinland Saga, Legends of Anime right here, Mop by Mappa. Oshinoko, I mean, <laughs> I love Oshinoko so much, but since To Your Eternity was mentioned, even nominated, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I feel like this, this show is definitely highly underrated. It's a really amazing, beautiful story. And I'm going to I'm gonna give my vote to Best Drama for Best Drama 2, To Your Eternity. Best fantasy anime. Demon Slayer, Hell's Paradise, Mashal, Mushoku Tensei. I still need to pick up Mushoku Tensei, man. I have not started. I need to start. I know I'm going to love it. Rangam Kings, Treasure Chest of Courage. Okay. Ooh. I'll talk about that in a bit. The Ancient Magnus Bride. I also want to watch this, but I don't think I ever will. Um, Rangam Kings, Treasure Chest of Courage. What can I say? I feel like it fell off. I feel like it fell off. Season one was definitely way better. This is season two, right? Season two, I feel like fell off. It was still good. It was still good. I'm gonna give it to Demon Slayer though. This arc wasn't as good as the uh, the entertainment arc, whatever it was, but still a pretty solid season overall. And I cannot wait for season four or the movie, which whichever one it was, I forget. Crazy stuff is about to happen. Oh, manga readers know. Ma <laughs> manga readers know. Best action. Okay. Attack on Titan, Bleach, Chainsaw Man, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, or One Piece? Juj Jujutsu Kaisen season two as a whole. You know what? I'm gonna give it to Jujutsu Kaisen season two. I'm not even gonna. I'm not. I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna discuss. I mean, Gear Five. I've been. I've, I mean, I've seen it. It's hard to miss. Crazy stuff. Chainsaw Man. Honestly, I can't. I thought I thought Chainsaw Man was 2022. I'm not gonna lie. It felt that long ago. This is definitely not. It's not recency bias. JJK season two, the action, the fight scenes in this show, in this season, went so hard. What's the name? Jogo versus Sukuna, bruh. Chozo versus Itadori, bruh. Maharaga versus Sukuna, bruh. Mahito versus. Uh, the, what's his name? The best of friend though. And Yuji, bruh. So good. Freaking Toji versus the the sorcerers. My god. Ugh. So many amazing fights happened in this season. And in the next, and you guys in season three, even more crazy fights are going to be happening. I'm actually so excited. It's my favorite arc 
of JJK, the Cullen games. I found like I found like a few people actually don't really like the Cullen games as much as other arcs, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed the, the Cullen games. I thought it was very cool to see all the new characters pop up, all the different powers, the fights, freaking Hikari and freaking, no, yeah, freaking Hikari and uh, what's his name? I'm drawing a blank, the lightning guy. Kashimo, goats, they're so awesome. Great characters. We get more. We get more Yuta as well. Best comedy. Okay, okay. I I, I gotta give it to Butcher the Rock, right? But Zom 100 also has some pretty good slaps. Spy Family, Buddy Daddy. I was I was going to watch Buddy Daddy, but then I don't know why I didn't. Mashell. Mashell's isn't a comedy. I don't know. Some part of me feels not right voting for the same anime multiple times, but I think I'm gonna vote for the same anime multiple times. Butcher the Rock. Butcher the Rock. Best romance, okay. Um, I've only ever seen one. Actually, I don't know. I don't know, that's cap. Well, actually, why is 100 Girlfriends not nominated in here? That's 2023, right? Or is it doesn't count because it it's like the tail end of 2020? If, if 100 Girlfriends that really, 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 really love you was in here, was nominated, it got my vote. Um, there's only one that I've watched and I'm hovering right over it. I do want to watch Skip and Loafer and Toma Chan as a girl though, but I'm gonna give it to My Love Story with Yamada Kun at level 999 because they're gamers and that's cool. And also just really love the, the, the main female character. Best art direction. This is rough, a tough decision. There's a solid five shows that I've actually seen with all outstanding art. <laughs> God dang it, dude. Okay. I mean, Yufa Table. Yufa Table always smashes it out the park. Like, I, 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 okay, I don't want to give it to JJK or Chainsaw Man. It's either between Oshinoko, Demon Slayer, or Zom 100 for me. And I mean, if I really think about it, between those three, Demon Slayer stands out every single season and movie. The art just goes insane, especially with what the the manga provides. They took it. They take it to a whole other level. You for tables. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give it to Demon Slayer. Best cinematography. Am I right? You know what? This one, I think I'll give to Chainsaw Man, because Chainsaw Man, it feels like you're watching, like a cinematic movie at times, doesn't it? It feels like very very I don't, I don't know how to describe it I, I, I'm, not, I'm not i'm not i'm not a professional here i'm just i'm just i'm just your average dweeb but i think i think i think some people would agree to say chainsaw man has the best cinematography best director okay uh this is another uh category that, uh annually that i just don't really know or i mean i don't want to say i don't care about it but I'm just, I'm, I lack knowledge on it. Best director. I, I'm, I'm honestly just going to pick the show I think I like most. Or maybe I think was, like, made the best. So director, I mean, director, they're in charge of the, the music, the, the sequencing, the cinematography, the anime, everything really, right? So I think this is overall, like, who do I think did the best? Who, like, who directed the best adapta anime adaptation? And if I were to choose... One of these four anime that I've seen, one, two, three, and four, I think I'm gonna give it to Jujutsu Kaisen. I feel like they did a real good pacing and like just overall composition. What's the word, man? I don't know. I'm just trying to pull stuff out of my head right now, but I'm gonna say Jujutsu Kaisen. From start to finish, especially how they covered two different quote unquote arcs with a uh, hidden inventory and premature death, right? And then the Shibuya incident. I feel like that was actually pretty cool. But Oshinoko though. <laughs> Oshinoko though, you know what I mean? <laughs> God dang it, man. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Shota Go, Go Shozono. Best character design. <laughs> it's totally not biased just because of Kana. Um, I mean, yeah, honestly, you know, actually, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna follow my gut. I mean, come on guys, train so many characters. Is it, is it, I mean, they're, they're all wearing the same outfit. <laughs> Demon Slayer, they're all kind of wearing the same outfit as well. Jesus Kaisen, they're all kind of wearing the same outfit as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's just talking about the outfits. Of course, there's like there's, there's a lot more to the of a, to character uh, design than just the clothes. But, I mean, Ocean Code, they, they also are kind of wearing a bunch of the same clothes. But um, I just really love... 
the way Oshinoko characters look. They're so appealing to look at. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like the actual characters, the, the appearance of the characters in Oshinoko is, is a big uh, appeal to it. As where Chainsaw Man, Demon Slayer, and Jujutsu Kaisen, it's not as big as in uh, a factor of the show's appeal. I'm gonna give it to Oshinoko. I, I, I love the characters. I love the characters. I love like literally all of them. Some less than others. If you know, you know, but uh, yeah. Best animation. Okay. We're getting to the nitty gritty here, aren't we? Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, we're getting to the big ones. The big dogs. Okay. Best animation, huh? Demon Slayer. I mean, if I'm being real. I mean, MAPPA, MAPPA really solidified themselves as one of the anime studio greats right here. As you can see with three freaking entries. But, um. I feel like they're trying too hard. I feel like they're trying too hard. You have a table. Demon Slayer. I just think I just think the animation of Demon Slayer is world class, honestly. Best original anime. Ooh, Akaba Made War. That's been recommended to me countless times. So much so it's I'm, I'm starting to like not want to watch it just because of how many times I've been told to watch it. Do it yourself. Bloody dice. I haven't seen any of these. God dang it. So honestly, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm gonna hold off and not vote on this one. I do wanna watch Akiba Made War, <laughs> even though what I just said, I do wanna watch Bloody Daddies and Do It Yourself. I do wanna watch these three at some point. Best film, okay. I have only seen one film and that's the uh the boy and the heron, which was mid. Honestly, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's it, it was mid. Um Black Clover had a movie. Psychopaths had a movie. Slam Dunk had a movie. And the Suzume, I still haven't seen that. And I still haven't seen the Kaguya movie. Probably would have given it to Kaguya, honestly. But um, I'm gonna also uh, withhold from this. Best new series. Sheesh. <laughs> Oshinoko, Bochi the Rock, Chainsaw Man, or Zom 100. Okay, best new series. I mean, I freaking rewatched Bochi the Rock. I think I'll give it to Bochi the Rock again. And you know what's really funny? I'm wearing a freaking Bochi the Rock t-shirt from the IRL town of Bochi the Rock, Shimo Kitazawa. Literally wearing a Kesoku band t-shirt. Okay. Oh, uh, I love Bochi the Rock, man. It, uh, it's such a good show. I, I really hope, I really hope they continue the anime with new, with new content, not just a recap. I'll give it, I'll give it to Bochi the Rock, man. I mean, I love Oshinoko, and I cannot wait for season two. Chainsaw Man is going to be great. Oh yeah, it is getting a movie. It's getting a movie. Oh man, the amount of down bad that's gonna happen when Reze comes around. Whew. Sheesh, man. Oh jeez, it's gonna be, uh, down bad stocks are gonna go through the roof, going to the moon. Zom 100. Honestly, with its hiatus, I feel like it really it killed itself with its hiatus. Still, still stuck the landing though. It stuck the landing at the end. Really good solid anime. If you just watch it now that it's like completely over, you can just binge the whole thing as a whole. Very enjoyable series as well. But I mean, Bochi the Rock was sensational. It was like a world. It was worldwide. It was like everywhere for like a good amount of the year. More so than freaking anything else i think any of these other ones i think like everyone was on boshi the rock but not everyone was on chainsaw man not everyone was on ocean I i'm gonna give it to bochi yeah I, I gave a lot of votes to bochi and i'm gonna continue giving a lot of votes to bochi best continuing series okay all right yeah i mean there's freaking one piece one piece is probably gonna win let's be real here <laughs> or attack and titan um man I mean, out of the two that I've seen, and I do want to vote for, I would, I do want to vote for one of them too. They both really built on the story and like left with really big like, whoa, what's going to happen now kind of questions with like Jujutsu Kaisen with freaking, I mean, for anime only watchers, they're probably like, what? Yuta's going to kill Yuji? But what? Uh, Gojo's in a box still? And then over here, it's like, what? Nezuko can live in the sun now? But, um, I love Demon Slayer. It's it's my favorite. It's my favorite shonen series, honestly. There's so many better uh, shonens, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, objectively. But I don't know. There's just something about Demon Slayer I really enjoy. I'm gonna go to Demon Slayer. Considering that Demon Slayer is reach nearing its end, we're, like, past the halfway mark at this point. We're, like, in the... 
in the near end the end game stages of this anime. We're actually very close to the end, all things considered. There's essentially two arcs left, that being the uh, the next season, and then what I suspect to be either season four, I mean season five, right? This is season three. Yeah, season five, wow. Or another movie, or season five and a movie, I don't know. I feel like they will do a two-parter for um, the finale of Demon Slayer. I'm gonna give Demon Slayer. All right, and here it is, anime of the year. Now, whew. Um, there are two animes in here that I wish were nominated, but I, I understand how the uh, the thing works. Like, I, I guess the winter season isn't included. The 2023 winter season, which actually like goes into 2024, right? Isn't in here. So Free Run, uh, 100 Girlfriends isn't in here. Kanajo Makanjo is not in here. I, pro- I would have definitely given it to Free Run, 100%. Free Run's anime of the year. It's such an interesting story, and the characters are just very deep, I feel like. And it's still going to, and it's still going. Anime of the freaking year, though. God dang it, man. This is tough. Bochi the Rock, man. Bochi the Rock, huh? Washi Nicole, huh? Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, or Demon Slayer, The Swordsmith Village Arc. I'm, I'm not gonna include Vinland Saga in my decision because I haven't seen it. Uh, I mean, again, which show did I rewatch? Which show did I love so much? I came back to to watch again. But then Oshinoko, very interesting story. It's still building. Freaking waifu Artie Makana, Chainsaw Man with its very um, different uh, feel to Shonen anime, and the Jutsu Kaisen with its pure hype, and then Demon Slayer with its continuing amazing story and brilliant animation. I mean, I feel like all those things I said about each could be said about all. (sighs) But Bochi the Rock, honestly, it's the most simple story out of the six here. It's literally a story about a band. A story about a girl that just wanted to make friends by playing music. Something I wanted to do when I was in high school and middle school. It reminded me of one of my most favorite animes of all time, k I'm sure that did as well for many other Bochi fans. It has hilarious scenes. The characters are so lovable, each and every one of them. Even the side characters. Freaking uh, pa- Pasan, the character that got like the least amount of screen time, is one of the most favorited characters in the show. I think Simple is best. I think for 2023, Simple was the best. Bochi the Rock. Is anime of the year for me. Yeah. There's a reason I rewatched this. It's definitely amongst my favorite animes of all time, honestly. At least top 15, I'd say. At least top 15. If not 10, even. And I've seen nearly 300 anime. The Anime Awards 2023. Well, 2024. Anime 2023. Yeah, let me know who did you vote for since, I mean, by the time you're watching this, the voting's probably already over. All right, the winners will be announced in March, March 2nd. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, guys, leave a like and subscribe for more anime weeb otaku content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep watching anime. Bye bye now.